This is my reaction to Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 1, Episode 50, The Mystery Duelist Part 1. So in the last episode, we wrapped up the Dungeon Dice Monsters arc. Yu-Gi won. And then apparently, Duke is actually not a bad guy. Once he beat him, he was like, oh, wow, he must have really not cheated. Which is odd, and just didn't think he cheated again. Which again, technically he did. Technically he had a millennial piece. Technically Yu-Gi did cheat. He had an upper hand that... Duke didn't. I mean, yeah, Grant, he made the game, and but still, he's not like using magic or something. Also, if you like full reaction, you get with other shit that react to, you can join my Patreon, like all of these lovely people. It really does mean a lot and helps support me and the channel. So if you'd like to join, the link to that is down below. Would you like something to drink? Uh, no thanks. We're already late. You can no. Taya's here. I'll be right there, Grandpa. This new chain ought to keep my Millennium Puzzle safe. Seems like everyone wants their hands on it lately. And we're going to need it now more than ever. Why? We are? Well, what do you mean by that? The Millennium Puzzle connects us, Yugi. And I sense fate has more in store for us. Oh. With the mystery duelist, I'm guessing? No matter what. You don't really care much about sports, do you? No. just hold. Fates unfold. Step up, boy, and I'll reveal the secrets of your future. I need it in order to properly read your aura to see what fate has in store for you. You don't get dumb dumb. No, don't you? Your fate. See, that's creepy. His voice has got distorted. No, hold up. His voice has got distorted. Are you stupid? I don't know about this. Something's coming to me. I see. He's gonna get robbed. Now belongs to me. Yeah, of course. Come back here! He's getting away. What do we do? I'll follow him this way. You try to cut him off around the corner. You got it, Yugi. You won't get away with this, you creep. I can't believe I handed him my puzzle. Yeah, you're being stupid. <gasps> oh, Bakura. Oh, Bakura. No one shall have the Millennium Puzzle but me. Yeah. I want its power. Oh. And I'll track it down with my Millennium Ring. Whoa, okay. Show me the way. Trace the item's mystical energy. Well, it's pointing that way, obviously. Lead me to the Millennium Puzzle. If I control all the Millennium items, I will control power unimaginable. And I will make certain Ugh, nobody me. stands in my way. Hmm. Which way, Ring? Oh, there it is. Whoever that guy was, he's leading me like a rat through a maze. Yeah. But why would a thief want his victim to follow him? D yeah, that's... Really I thought he was trying to trap you, like, he would, like, mislead you. Like, be like, hey, your arrows are the right way. JK, it's not the right way. You're actually getting lost and trapped. I've been waiting for you a long time. <laughs> hmm. Who are you? And what do you want with my Millennium Puzzle? I desire the power your item contains within. But, according to the rules of its ancient magic, I have to win it from you in a duel. Oh, really? As for who I am, let's just say that I'm the one who shall control your destiny. Oh, you have an axe! Others, and that I am not unfamiliar with the power of a Millennium Item. Indeed, I Who's understand that? more about their hidden mysteries than you will ever know. Who is that? Take your Millennium Puzzle. I won't duel you for my Millennium Puzzle. It already belongs to me. It's in my possession now, little Yugi. All right, then I accept your challenge. <clears throat> of course you do. Didn't think much from inside. If I have to duel, I'll need the spirit of the puzzle to help me. Maybe I can still connect with him. I can barely hear you, Yugi. Oh. Your bond is weak. It's hard to maintain contact. I'm afraid I won't be able to help you with this duel. I mean, maybe when he's like standing right next to the piece, Alone? I'll be closer. But I've never fought a duel without you. But see, now that it's next to him, it's, the connection should be a bit clearer. Also, why the hell did this dude put the millennial piece on Yugi's side, not his own? I don't think so. Yugi could easily take it and run away. I have seen your future. This machine card destroys every monster on the field. <laughs> Damn. Oh, and it's off, apparently. It requires us to draw five new cards. Let's see what you've got up your pathetic sleeve this time, little Yugi. Time for a new strategy. I'm placing my monster in defense mode. And I'm placing mine in attack mode. 
Meet Mechanical Chaser and Ground Attacker Barbara. No, oh, so you have a lot of robot -y cards. War machine cards. Yeah, War Machine. Wait, That's what I meant. Seems familiar. Show yourself, Bandit Keith. Oh. I was right. But why would Bandit Keith disguise himself and steal my Millennium Puzzle? The last time I saw him was when he battled Joey. In the Hold Dark up. Lantern. I'm pretty sure people said he died. Joey beat him. When Pegasus found out Keith was cheating, he ejected him from the island. We never saw him again. I swear people said that he died. What happened to you? Or maybe I said he died. Keith. He fought for his life against the harsh ocean waters. But he failed. My followers and I were on the way to retrieve oh. some very special items. Help me. You oh. will free yourself, Keith. Let the duel continue. I play Machine King in attack mode. Damn. My new monster gets an extra 100 attack points for every machine that's on the field. That's 300 more points. Machine King, attack with Jack Punch! Oh! Poor Wolfie. Yeah, any creep picks on our buddy has to deal with us all. You said it. All right, people. Just where do you think you're going? Right, you have to go to school. You volunteered to help at the soccer game. I know, coach, but we got an emergency. Uh, Tay's cat has gotten sick. We need to take it to the vet. Please, we need to help Fluffy. <laughs> Poor Fluffy. I didn't realize your little kitty was... Oh my god, did that work? Of course you can go. Hmm. Yes, yes, sir. Thank, thank you, coach. <laughs> Save that little kitty. He's really a softie at heart. It wasn't cool to mislead Coach Morty. It's an emergency. <sighs> yeah. His millennium puzzle is as good as mine. So you're the one controlling Bandit Key, but who the hell are you? That's the question. So take this. I play Curse of Dragon in attack mode. And I play Gaia, the fierce knight. Oh, you're gonna fuse them. But that's not all. I yeah. also use my polymerization card to combine these two monsters in order to create Gaia, the dragon champion. That's like such a basic attack from him. I feel like he does that every time. Monster can take your machines apart. That's right, enough to overpower your dragon champion. Machine King attack. Oh. Your offensive Find is over you. Abs. Your champion destroy. Wait. The summon skull. This gives me an idea. Mm. First, I'll have to play a magic card. Your machines might be the most impressive I've seen, but they're still made out of metal. So I play mock you. You think a little missile destroy my machines? It won't destroy them, but it will cause them to rust and lower their points. Oh, that sounds and bad, Russ. Your machine monsters into one gigantic lightning rod. He has no idea of the power he's up against. My deck is full of rare monsters, the likes of which he's never seen. And when I'm through with you, he, his oh, I thought it was Keith's deck, and they're just machines. By placing this card on the table, I'm able to draw three new cards from my deck. Oh. And I'm confident that they'll be exactly the cards I need to end this duel once and for all. <laughs> Dude, you are just like Heath. Fucking cheating. You're finished, little Yugi. I've drawn the ultra rare Zero Ritual card. It's used to summon one of the most powerful monsters in the game. Oh. But activating a ritual card takes more than just talk. You also need to have the right monster card in your hand, and what are the odds of that? Very good if he cheats. Oh, yeah. No way! Maybe you finally understand the power you are up against, Yugi. Ooh, that really looks like a cool card. Zero Ritual sacrifices my two remaining monsters in order to bring forth the greatest of my creatures. Behold the instrument of your destruction, one of the strongest beasts and dual monsters. Behold, Zero the Man! Damn. So, my Ooh. ring has led me here. The puzzle must be inside. Yeah. Hmm. I also sense a dark presence from the Shadow Realm. Season Are you sure it's on your own? The puzzle might be more interesting than I thought. Help! Help! Uh, oh, is he breaking free? Keith, your resistance is oh, or not. It's time for me to end this duel and take what's mine. What do I do now? I have nothing to fight his monster with. If only I could call on the spirit and ask for his help. 
We've lost contact. Does Reason cut the chain? Maybe that'll bring back the Clothar. He will fall against my superior monsters, and the Millennium Puzzle will be in my control. Damn. That's my reaction to Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 1, Episode 50, The Mystery Duelist Part 1. So, Yu-Gi- I would say he's got stolen. He had to hand over his millennial piece to a fortune teller who ended up stealing it. Who ended up being Bandit Keith, who was also being mind controlled by someone with another millennial piece. And when Bukura caught wind of this, he was like, okay, time to mess up all these signs and just go there and try to get the piece myself. And during the duel, Yugi seemed to be doing pretty good. He got rid of all of, I'll just call him Keith for now, robots. But then, dude cheated, of course, because you know he's still Keith, I guess, and was able to hack it. So he was able to do a summoning ritual, which created a big monster that destroyed his dark skull. Which is not good. So, yeah. That's it.